Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Amazon Kindle Fire tablet, which is running CyanogenMod Mod 7, which is a custom version of Android. And there's a new version of CyanogenMod Mod available, which includes support for hardware accelerated video playback, and I wanted to install it, and I figured I'd show you how to do that. Uh, this particular device is not only running CyanogenMod, Mod, but it's also got the uh, uh, Team Win Recovery Project 2.0, or TWRP, <laughs> installed on it, and that makes it easy to back up and restore the system and flash updates and so forth. Um, and I'm going to assume that you've already done that, and then you also need to download the update.zip file uh, and store it on your device's uh, storage. And just to show you that we've already done that, we're opening a file browser, I've created a folder here called updates, and there's something in there called update.zip. So uh, pretty straightforward there. Now to reboot, assuming you've already got uh, Team Win Recovery Project installed, you find the power button, press and hold power, and I'm going to do power off rather than reboot, because that's been known to cause problems in the past. And now we're going to tap the power button to turn on, and we should see the fire, fire, fire bootloader. From here, press and hold the power button for a few seconds. Now this is something that you can install manually, or uh, you can have it installed when you install the uh, Team Win Recovery Project. Um, and here we see the custom recovery coming up. So from here we can go in and click install and uh, go ahead and install the new zip. Um, you can also create backups of your system, which it's a pretty good idea to do in case you want to be able to revert to a previous build. Um, but in this case, I've already done that recently, so I'm just going to go ahead and click install. And then from here you can see I've got a couple of different updates showing up in the file browser, but um, that's not what I want. I want to scroll down until I find the update folder. And what really makes this special is there's no volume buttons on here, so whereas... Oops, Whereas um, Clockwork Mod Recovery, which is one of the most popular recovery applications, uh, requires you to sort of navigate using, oh here it is, using the um, volume buttons, you can use the touch screen here. So I've selected it, it says update.zip, and we're going to say flash. Now you do get a couple of error messages here sometimes, uh, that shouldn't necessarily be a problem. And we've got a little progress meter at the bottom here. Not showing much progress, but you can see that it is moving. Yeah, we've got a little progress. not a bad idea to wipe the cache, so let's go ahead and do that. Back, and reboot system. Now this time we're just going to go ahead and let it load the bootloader, so we're not pressing the power button again. It takes a little bit longer than using the stock um, bootloader, because this one is designed specifically to make it easy for you to switch boot modes, so it gives you a couple of seconds there to press the power button. And here we have Cyanogen mod loading. Since we just went ahead and installed the update zip, it's going to be a little bit slower to boot Cyanogen mod than normal, but the, uh, the process will go a little bit faster the next time you boot. Cyanogen Mod is a custom version of Android, which is, uh, version 7 is based off of Android 2.3 Gingerbread. Independent developers are uh, currently working on making Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich available for the Kindle Fire in the next version of Cyanogen Mod, which will be CM9.
and there we go. So you can see that it also saved my applications and settings, so I don't need to necessarily redo all of those things. But the new version with the uh, new features and support for hardware accelerated video should now be supported. Uh, this version of CyanogenMod, Mod, almost everything really works the way that it should. You've got support for wireless, you've got support for hardware accelerated video, and audio is working now. Um, I have noticed the last couple of times that I've rebooted, uh, the wireless is turned off, but I can just go ahead and turn it on automatically, or uh, quickly, by pressing the uh, icon in the, uh, the power controls here. Uh, I've been asked before how I set up this home screen. It's uh, pretty straightforward, I think. This is running Cyanogen Mod 7. You can go in and uh, choose wallpapers, and from the Cyanogen Mod wallpapers, there's uh, a number of different options to choose from. I like this one which looks like the one that I've got on the home screen. This is a uh, version of the fancy widget widget, which shows weather conditions and time, and I've got the power widget at the bottom here, and a custom widget for volume. I um, can't remember exactly which widget this is. This is for an application called Audio Manager, and it makes it easy, even though there's no volume controls on the side of the device, to quickly access uh, your alarm, media, and other volumes. Um, there's also an application that you can install, which I guess is not running right now, called... Oh, what's it called? It's not Audio Manager. It appears I may have uninstalled it. Uh, there was another application that I was actually using that uh, allowed me to uh, adjust audio by just swiping up and down on the right side of the device, but I can't remember the name of that off the top of my head. So Audio Manager is a, is a quick and easy way to adjust your volumes using a widget, or you can go ahead and launch it manually. So there you go, that's a quick look at Signage and Mod 7 and Team Win Recovery Project and how to flash an updated version of Signage and Mod or other operating systems on the Amazon Kindle Fire. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.